so important about the work that's being done by Blue Zone is that it gives people a choice. What are the strategies that we can take to start to get the highest measurable change and create the most impact within a short period of time? What we call the B side of the buildings, A side being the main street itself, the B side, the back side, is just waiting with potential for all kinds of human activity, uh, activating the little passageways that connect to the main street. back here, I was walking through all the construction here and by myself, you know, and so I thought, no, this sounds good because I always walk by myself, but it is wonderful because <laughs> I was out of Beaver Dam for 64 years okay. and moving back was... We're glad she's back. Yeah. <laughs> well, I met such beautiful people. <laughs> you just got to get yourself going. There are times when you say, oh, but then you say, no, get going. And once you're there, it was like, great, I made the best decision. when they come through my lines, you know. Chef Richard, what do we got to do? Chef Richard, what you know, this is really good. Thank you for the food. You know, I think they enjoy eating healthy. It's a healthy way of living. I mean, everybody wants a healthy way of living. a fruit tree or a vegetable garden, what would you plant? A fruit tree. And what kind of fruit tree? An apple tree. An apple tree? What would you do with those apples? We can make apple cider, make apple sauce, and make apple pie. Well, those are some great choices. Would you share your apples with me?
Similar to the Blue Zone project, Second Harvest really relies on volunteers. About 45% of all the work that's done by Second Harvest is done by volunteers. And there's no better example of that than what you see here today. We've got an amazing partner agency in Trinity Church United Methodist. They've been our partner agency for this particular mobile for a number of years. And what they do is they actually provide those volunteers. They go out and they solicit volunteers uh, in order to help serve the people that we're serving. Today, in addition to the folks from Trinity Church United Methodist, we've actually got a soccer team here who are they're out here making a difference in our community and so volunteers are absolutely critical to everything that we do while we were out at the uh, the, the fairgrounds for a number of years and it worked out for a number of years it really was turning out to not be the perfect scenario because sometimes it was very difficult especially when it comes to weather because everything was outdoors out at the, the, the fairgrounds. So the, the clients who, who we were serving, they were having to stand outside, whether it was raining or whether it was five below. So it was really not the great scenario. So uh, when we came here to Marine Park Technical College, as a result of the Blue Zone project, it really did help us to be able to serve more clients, to serve them in a more dignified way, to allow them to, if they needed to stand in, in line when it was not optimal weather, now we can actually do that indoors. And so it really provided us a, a, the next level of being able to serve the clients that we are serving. My name is Renee Peterson from Horcon Bank and I am the Talent Development and Training Officer at the bank and I was involved early on in the Blue Zones project. Our president, Fred Schwartfiger, is very involved in the community and so when the Blue Zones project started doing some work in the Dodge County area they reached out to him to learn more about the community and he really thought that it was an initiative that would partner well with Horcon Bank and who Horcon Bank is. And so he asked me to attend a meeting early on and that's how we decided to become involved in the project. When I attended that meeting, it matched closely with the wellness program. The wellness is something that I'm involved in at Horcon Bank, along with developing our talent and recruitment. And so we decided that we would uh, join the Blue Zones project. And I did at that time also join uh, one of the committees. I was part of the worksite committee. It's important for our culture to have our employees engaged not only at work but it, as part of our community and we identified that uh, being part of Blue Zones would be a good way to get uh, all of our staff involved. I think that the Blue Zones project has been uh, a real boon and benefit for our community. Uh, my daughter Julia who goes to Washington School came up to me and said that she wants to be healthier, that she wants to live longer. The image of our community is a healthier place. Uh, can only serve to help attract more and more uh, employees, uh, people to, to move, to live and work in our community. Vita Park Eye Associates, we designed a brand new office full of health-friendly features. We combined that with employee programs and community events, such as potluck moais, walking moais, and lunch and learns. These efforts made us the first independent medical practice in the state to become Blue Zone certified. Being part of the Blue Zones project for the last few years with Horcon Bank being one of the first approved work sites has really given us the opportunity to see the impact that it's had in the community, even with not only our employees, but with the Power Nine, it really affects our employees in many different ways, whether it's in the schools or other areas of their lives, not just at their work site. It's an initiative that it is part of their whole well-being and not just when they come to work. And that's a really cool thing. And I look forward to what is to come with the Blue Zones project because I think we are just getting started.
give it a try. You know, just give it a try. And it's kind of like with me, like I mentioned before, if I hadn't gone that first morning, I think about all of the activity and friendship I would have missed. More things going on all the time. Obviously grew up in Beaver Dam and kind of got to see how Beaver Dam morphed over the years, how the, the downtown almost died. You know, once once the mall out of town happened, uh, slowly the shops in downtown disappeared and kind of, uh, it's a bit run down, but uh, just this morning coming through town, it's 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 gone through a pretty big transformation. Um, you got some more businesses down here. Obviously, this is one of them, but the, just everything seems to be smartened up a bit. If you know. No, I, it was cool to come back and see. It. I've, I've come back every couple of years, and it's, it's, it just gets better every time I come back.